Hi everyone. Now that we've talked about how to take your ideas and break them down into words and phrases, we're going to start searching. We're going to do our search today on the library homepage, library.uic.edu. We're going to use this main search box in the middle of the screen. Um, it's a good place to start because it gives you so many different types of sources, which we talked about in an earlier video. So let me give you an example. Say I want to write about online learning and how it specifically affects uh, Latino students. I'm just going to put all of my words into one search and hit enter. Now this is a very forgiving search in that I can just put all of my words or a phrase in. Other databases you might need to be very specific about how you organize your search strategy. But you see for results, I have both articles and books in media. I can go two different ways. You never want to pick just the first titles you see, but scroll down to where you either go into the book search or the left hand side where you go into the article search. This takes you into the interface itself. So you see that I got over 28,000 results for online learning and Latino students. On the left hand side, you can use filters to start deciding what kind of information do, that you want. For example, you could look at just peer reviewed journals if you want that scholarly information. Right now you're looking at newspaper articles and scholarly articles. You could also look for magazine articles, book chapters, dissertations, etc. The filters on the left also allow you to change the date. So if you want to look for more recent information. Another way to narrow down your results would be to change your search terms. So say I search instead for online learning and um, Latino college students, specifically to find information about how online learning is affecting Latino students in college. You see, now that you've scrolled through these results, you can start picking out titles that sound interesting to you. To look at an individual title, click on the title. It will tell you where it was published, who wrote it. Um, you get a little bit more details. All of these keywords you could add to your keyword list. Um, you also get a description or an abstract, so you can read a little bit about this article before you decide to read it. To open this article, you click on any of these full text links um, and you'll be asked to sign on using your NetID and password. And then you can either download it or print it out or save it in some way. Then you go back and find another article. 